Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Prayer for Peace Heavenly Mother of Fatima, Thou hast promised peace. If the sinful world turns to the Immaculate Heart and does penance, we turn to You in the spirit of penance and fill our confidence. Merciful Heart, obtain for us peace. Send a just and lasting peace to the world. Make justice and righteousness triumph over all godless forces, over hatred, tyranny, and sin. Mercifully protect our Holy Mother of Church, our Holy Father, bishops, and priests. Guard our homes, our churches, and our country. Holy Mary, pity mankind in his bloodshed, slaughter, and disaster. Prove to all nations the wonderful love of the Immaculate and Eternal Heart, and lead them to thy divine Son, to his peace and endless joy. Amen. Prayer for the intercession of Our Lady of Consolation. God our Father, you sent us your only Son, born of the Virgin Mary, as a consolation of your people. Through the prayer of his mother, may we find in him the fullness of your compassion and share its blessings to all around us. May Mary, our Mother of Consolation, who brought comfort and strength to Monica through the conversion of the Son of God, help all those in need and bring consolation to them. united with the confirmation of the holiness of life of Mother Consuelo. Please mention your intention. In gratitude of your boundless blessings, we praise and thank you, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
kabayan. Iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi. Kinukup ko pa ko at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. The Gospel of the Lord according to St. Luke The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility towards him, and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of Sign the world today will come to believe. 